I'm still working on this book and today I'm gonna study exponents and roots. The expression 4x is shorthand for x plus x plus x plus x. That is x added to itself four times. But x to the fourth power is shorthand for x times x times x times x. That is x multiplied by itself four times. When it comes to exponents, there are eight properties that we should be aware of. Assuming that a is a non-zero number. Property one, when multiplying two powers whose bases are the same, add the exponents. Example one, two cubed times two to the fourth power equals two to the seventh power. Example two, x to the ninth power times x cubed equals x to the twelfth power. Property two, when dividing two powers whose bases are the same, subtract the denominator's power from the numerator's power. Example one, three to the fourth power divided by three squared equal three squared. Example two, y to the seventh power divided by y cubed equals y to the fourth power. Property three, if you have a quantity raised to a power, then raised to another power, multiply the exponents. Example one, five cubed squared equals five to the sixth power. Example two, x to the sixth power to the seventh power equals x to the 42nd power. Property four, any non-zero number raised to the zero power is one. From this example, we can see that four to the zero power must be one. Property five, a to the minus one power is the reciprocal of a. In other words, a to the minus one power means Invert A. Example 1. 2 to the minus 1 power equals 1 over 2. Example 2. X to the minus 1 power equals 1 over X. Property 6. A to the minus N power equals 1 over A to N power. Example 1. 5 to the minus 6 power equals 1 over 5 to the 6th power. Example 2, x to minus 10 power equals 1 over x to the 10th power. If this property 6 seems unbelievable, let me go back to property 5. a to the minus 1 power is an invert A. And this A actually has a power of one. Property seven, AB to the n power equals A to the n power, B to the n power. Example, four x cubed equals 64 x cubed. Property eight, we can take the quotient first, then the power or each power followed by the quotient. Example one. Example two. There are still lots more to talk about exponents and roots, but I'll continue next week. A bientôt.